In this video, we're going to examine the utilization of SPSS to test the basic assumptions of a two-way ANOVA. Now, you will recall there are, there are three assumptions of the two-way ANOVA. The first of those is, is that there's no outliers. The second is that the, the data are normally distributed across the groups. And then the last is, is that we have homogeneity of variance. The first thing that we're going to do in this is, is look at outliers and look at normality. Then we will move on to assess homogeneity of variance. Now, using SPSS to test the assumptions for the two-way ANOVA, I want to point out to you that we're going to use version 21. Now, it's interesting with SPSS that it is constantly changing uh, levels. Just pick the most current one, but it, you know what? They, they may have version 27 out next week or version 39. We just don't really know. But basically, the flow will be the same. Now, our first step will be to organize the data output by group and then to explore outliers and normality. So if you'll bear with me, we're going to do these two things, then we're going to come back and examine how we look for homogeneity of variance. Our data set that we will use for this examines, is, examines percentages of female enrollments across the independent variables of sector and region. Now, the sector that I have for these public two-year community colleges is the sector of public, uh, private, and proprietary. Regions are just a dummy set that I made up of four regions that represent the state of Texas. So you'll bear with me and we'll have some fun with this. Let's see what SPSS has to say about it. Well, hello friends. Here we are back again working with SPSS. What I've done here is I've developed a data set and you will notice that I have the percent women the sector, a one is a public, a two is a private, and three is a proprietary. Region is just a dummy variable that I've made up, one, two, three, four, to show you how we might examine the percentage of women across the two independent variables of sector and region. The first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to split our file. We're going to go up to data set. We're going to go to split file. Once we, once we go to split file, we're going, we're going, let me reorganize this. We're going to go to split file. We're going to organize output by groups. And the sector and region are the groups that we're going to do. So here we go. And it's, it's going to come back with a, with a finding for us as it works through it and that they were sorted. And there you go. That's, that's you now have it done uh, where it's uh, sorted. And I'm going to do away with that now where it's sorted by sector and sorted by region. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to examine outliers and we want to look at normality. We'll look at homogeneity of variance in just a moment. So to, to do those things and examine outliers and to look at uh, normality, we go to descriptive statistics and we go across under analyze, descriptive statistics, and go to explore. So when we go to explore, here we are, we're set with some, some different things. The first thing we want to do is go to our dependent list. Our percent women is our dependent list. Uh, the, so that we've already sorted this by sector and region, so no need to do anything there. Let's go over to uh, go to plots. And with plots, we're going to want stem and leaf. Let's select normality plots with test. And then we will continue. Now, once we're back to that, we're ready to go. So we select OK. And what SPSS does is then open up and begin the analysis of the data that we're looking for. Now, you'll see it running right here, and it's, it's getting after it. And the first thing I'm going to do, if you'll bear with me just a minute, is kill that. And I'm going to pull up a PDF file that I've already developed of the running of the, of the data so that you can actually see it in a much, much darker print, which may read better on the screen. Now... We, we come in and we start out, it gives us the, the descriptives, but what we're interested in is the test of normality. And the test of normality, we, let me get back here to it. Uh, the test of normality, you notice that it will have sector one, region one, and that's the way that these, these will be done as they come in by each sector then in each region. And if I, there we are, the test of normality. I'm getting there, bear with me. I'm a little bit uncoordinated. 
Uh, the Shapiro Wilt test right here is what we were interested in. And you will notice that a significance of 0.008, this one is, this section is not normally distributed. Now, which may means we may have to uh, either uh, do a transformation, uh, we may have to uh, design another test, we might have to actually just continue and note that that one is not normally distributed. We come in and it does our plots for our data, but here's what's interesting. We notice in this that we have 17 is, is there were only 16 of them, so that tells it was the end. We know that we have two data points that are outliers. One of those is at 72 or percent, and, and the other one is 40-something uh, percent. That right? looks like about 46, 47. Let's go back to the data set just a minute and see if we can identify that data set. Let's see if we can find, oh, here's one that's 72. Here's one of our outliers right here in that one, and then there's one that is, oh, there it is, 33%. So it's, a, it's an outlier. They're on the ends. So what we would need to do is replace those with the next uh, value below it. 72, we would replace with 70. Uh, the 33, we would have to look through and see what the lowest value is, probably 47. Now, I hope as you look at this that you have, you see some way of actually going through and looking at these and making sense of it. On the next one, it is normally distributed with Shapiro-Wilkes. We could look at skewness and kurtosis and see that just as well. When we look for outliers, there's the, the visual plot. Don't really see any outliers. Let's see what it shows us. And it shows us that there is one outlier, and it's data point number 24, and it's 70%. So it's two box links outside. This is fairly interesting, isn't it? You have, you have a, an output and you see how to get it. And I'll remind you that you go into SPSS. The first thing that you do in SPSS is you split your data. And once you split your data, then you go to analyze and you go to explore. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. Let's see what we have to do now to analyze the homogeneity of variance of this data. Hello, we're back again, and in this little segment of the, of the video, we're going to examine utilizing SPS version 21 to examine homogeneity of variance. For our purposes, we will utilize the Levine's test for homogeneity of variance, and we will use the significance of 0.05. Anything less than 0.05 will indicate that we do not meet the assumption of homogeneity of variance. Let's see what SPS is, has to say. Well, we are back in SPSS, and you will recognize our faithful data set. Now, in order to uh, check on the homogeneity of variance, the first thing we have to do is go up and select data, go to split file, and we have to undo some of what we did. Remember when we split it out and we organized outputs by groups? Now we need to go back and analyze all cases and do not create groups. That's the first step. And, of course, it comes up and it says for us that it's done that. Let's get that killed. And we're through with that. Now let's go up and actually do the test for homogeneity of variance. Before this, we would go to the general linear model, univariant. This is how we're actually going to conduct our analysis. Our dependent variable is percent women. We will take sector and region, move them over to fixed. And to do the homogeneity test, let's go to options. We will highlight all four, and we will go here to the homogeneity test. Now, we're going to come back and talk about doing estimates of effect size and observed power shortly. Now, we just tell it that we're happy, and we tell it to do the test, and it should come back and give us some results very quickly. It's cooking, and we come here to the test of interest, the Levine's test, which tells us that we do not meet the condition of homogeneity of variance. So at this point, our options are we can transform the data set, of course. We can uh, do all sorts of things, maybe eliminate the outliers might help that. Or we could find a, a expert that says, well, you can still proceed as long as you declare it because it's robust. But not having homogeneity of variance certainly increases our chance of a type 1 error. 
Okay, that looks good. Let's move on. Well, my friends, now you know how to test the assumptions. The three assumptions being that there are no outliers, uh, that you have normality within groups, and that you have homogeneity of variance. You have a great day. Live long and prosper. Need to watch Star Trek. Figure out what your response is. Have a good day.